very filament calibration is set it's going to now do the xyz calibration this is the most involved part of it and you really need to watch the printer and follow the instructions so i'm going to hit the button it's going to now home the printer make sure everything is there including a full z home which it did not do last time i do have a wire in the way but that ribbon cable just gets pushed out of the way when it runs i'm not concerned because i haven't had any issues with it you won't have such a problem with yours so it sounds ugly, but that's actually a normal. Now it's gonna ask you to clean the nozzle. I suggest using the brush for this. I'm gonna take the brush and just give it a little tooth brushing. Make sure there's no crud on it. I don't go super aggressive, just wanna get rid of any dangling filament. I'm gonna click the checkbox. It's gonna ask you what the heated bed is on there. For this, we wanna take it off. I'm gonna just lift up the corner and pull the bed off. This is, um, We'll talk about uh, treatment of that once we are up and running. So I'm going to hit no. It's now going to ask us to put a piece of paper on the print bed. If the printer, the paper starts moving or gets tight to move, you want to make sure you turn off the printer immediately. Use the red big X button. So now we're going to select. It's now going to bring the head down. And what we're looking for is there's an induction sensor on the left-hand side of the printer that tells it how close it is to the metal. The light will turn off when it senses metal. So it gets close, it's going to take and start hunting for it. Now, if it doesn't see it, you're going to have to adjust the positioning of that by bringing it down a little bit. Um, I'll probably, the best answer would probably call me and I will walk you through that to make sure it's set properly. And what I often do is sort of grab onto the paper and move with my fingertips to make sure that it's not being grabbed. See the light there just blinked off? That just means it just found the metal. Now it's going to try to find exactly where the light turns off. Yep, just blinked again, blinked again. So we're getting close to finding that point. Yep. And again, the paper moves freely. That is a good sign. If the paper were to start dragging with the head, this is when you have to hit, uh, turn off immediately because you could damage the heated bed and the nozzle. Um, and again, if you need to adjust the height of that sensor, uh, let me know and I'll walk you through exactly how to adjust it. It's not hard, it's actually fairly easy. And I'll make sure that you have a, um, the right tools to do it. That's why it comes with the Allen wrenches. So I'm gonna turn off the video from this point on because basically the same thing in all four corners. You wanna make sure each of the corners are well. So I'm gonna move the paper over to make sure we're underneath and continue watching this. So again, this is about 15 minutes. It's not the end of the world, um, but we want to make sure it passes this test before we move forward.